I've dated someone that I'm actually taking care of. We know the person. If I have another B. I hey guys.
I've dated someone that I'm actually taking care of. We know the person, don't worry, from the house. <laughs> We know the person. Don't worry, we know the person. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I never said okay. that. No, okay, he, okay. Never, he never said oh, that. Oh, you never stop. dated Aiki? I don't know what you're talking about. Period. Period. Yeah. Yo! But Brav was calling you his girlfriend. Calling, he, allegedly. He allegedly, allegedly said that you were his girlfriend. So you never dated him. Bigo, bigo. Okay, okay, so I can speak for myself. Yes. I will not speak for nobody. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. Oh, 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 oh. It could be maybe. Say that him, they date her. She, not date her. Exactly. You no, have to know that you are... I still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. To even go to the extent of bringing out videos where him and Pretty Mike had good times together. So, um, I don't really know what's going to happen next. Let's just hope and see if they do Pretty Mike are really going to answer PK or not. Now, moving on to Cora, fat put him online, you people will destroy it. Yes. So Cora is a dancer, she's a musician, an artist, and she's from Nigeria, Igbo for that matter, and also she based abroad. Now, if you don't know her, I'm going to be leaving her pictures for you to see. Now, Cora um, made um, a shocking revelation because for like a month and going to two months, she and her husband got divorced. Like after five days of giving birth, postpartum, after five days of giving birth, I don't, I don't, I can't really say what happened because there two of them really, they actually refused to um, give us details of what really happened in the marriage. Like they did not. But Cora just came out recently to make a shocking revelation or to make a shocking um, video about um, the cause of our marriage. So in that video, which I'm going to be playing for you to also listen to, she said. Um, if I have another B, I will never, ever put him online. You people will destroy it like he destroyed my first marriage. Nonsense. I will hide it from you. I will hide it from you. Jealous goat's mouth. And you, you, that, that, I remember those times. Someone would go and email him. Look at what your wife is doing. Look at what you every day. <laughs> Jesus. How will you not run away? How will you not disappear? How will you not tell me come back out of my house? That's five days postpartum. How will you not do that? Where's some of you? So Corinne said that. that um social media was actually the one that sprouts her first marriage that if she's going to venture into another marriage or into any relationship at all she will never ever post that particular person online she also revealed that when she was dating her when she and her husband were married like her husband was always receiving different kinds of messages of can't you see the way your wife is dressing can't you see your wife this that that and like like she just felt that social media actually destroyed her marriage now coming to that people that do entertainment everybody with their different categories of entertainment right from when i know cora and how i got to know her she's a dancer and she has her own style of dancing even when she went for the American God's talent, or will I say, yes, in the American God's talent or so, I know she, how she dressed, even when she was pregnant, to go for that show. So that's her personality. And I feel her husband, her ex-husband, sorry, should have known this is the kind of lady he's getting married to. So because of side talk from other people, should not determine if your marriage is going to work or not. So, like, as I said, she just made that revelation and said social media destroyed her marriage. I don't know if Justin, her ex-husband, is going to come out to say anything about that one. We are yet to know. But for now, please, <laughs> it's not about keeping your marriage off social media. It's just knowing what your partner likes. Knowing your partner, because... You can still decide to keep your marriage off social media and it's still going to 
get um, destroyed or will I say both of you can still get divorced just know what your partner wants if, if your partner is a person that doesn't like you exposing your body to the world you avoid it if your partner is okay with the fact that you you, you like um, dressing in a sexy and short um, gowns to anything at all then it's okay but if your partner is not a fan of indecent dressing and everything like that then you just have to stop it because posting your partner or your relationship or your marriage online does not really determine if it's going to end well or it's not going to end well now guys this has come to the end of this video and if you have watched this video till this ending please don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so as to always get notified whenever i upload new videos bye